Hi there. I'm standing over on the East Lawn looking south towards the rock border in the distance. And there ahead of us is the garden bench that we had renovated last year with the cotinus that I planted next to it. Behind those large oak trees up on the slope is the greenhouse. And here on the left are the kidney beds. Still not much flowering in them with the rhododendron behind. And then here we have a rather dispiriting line of conifers which don't do an awful lot for me and aren't particularly good for wildlife. And I should one day like to replace them with something different. This is one of Margaret's fields. You can see her sheep and her lambs that were only born a few weeks ago are growing very very rapidly. Here's another big oak tree. In very good health and absolutely massive. Unfortunately to its side are the two oak trees that I wrote about recently that I've been told have been possibly struck by lightning and are probably dying. Another huge oak over on the meadow. And the East Pond is just smothered with duckweed, which depresses me. But there's not an awful lot I can do about it. In the middle of the East Pond is uh, a small man-made island which gets submerged when the water is very high so it's a difficult um, place to plant really. Someone's tried pseudo sasa on it but it's more dead than alive so I need to think as to what I can plant there. It's tricky to get to, the water's very deep out there, um, far too deep for me to go out in my waders for example. And on the far side of the pond is the North Lawn with the Rose Tunnel, the long borders, the vegetable beds and the house is just off camera to the left. Some of the big trees, or well, the biggest trees in the estate are here. Large alder, big ash tree. Another big um, oak. And it's really quite a nice place to sit and have a mug of tea and just take in the view and listen to the birdsong.